All right, what's up everybody? I got a new video for you guys. It's the first one in a while. It's just my Black Friday uh, purchase from Home Depot. I got the Milwaukee 3.8 Strive uh, kit. Comes with metric and standard size sockets. Um, and the standard looks like we go from quarter inch all the way up to seven eighths in the deep sockets and then up to one inch in the shallows. And then up to 19 millimeters in both shallow and deep sockets for the metric. And as you can see, it comes with a ratchet, two extensions and a swivel. Um, over here on the right, I have this metric uh, quarter inch set. It's just metric. Um, this one I've had since March, so it's been a little under a year. Um, did bring this one to work just to use it for a little bit. Uh, both these kits I, I keep at home now. Um, just don't have to bring so much stuff to and from work if I ever have any side work or anything like that. Um, it's been awesome. At least the quarter inch kit has. Um, like I said, I haven't used the, the one I just bought yet. But no, no real issues now when you're using quarter inch drive stuff. You typically aren't applying too much torque to anything, so I've had no problem with that. We'll see with three eighths. I don't expect to have any issues though, unless you have some kind of rounded off fastener or something kind of out of the ordinary, maybe we'll see. Um, but anyways, you know, the ratchets, pretty fine tooth. I believe it's 90 teeth, not positive. Uh, pretty fine tooth though. You know, the only thing I wish is it was a flex head, just because you can be a little more versatile with the flex head ratchet, I feel like, you know, in some situations I definitely prefer not having one. But other than that, no complaints on the kit, except for the extensions. I kind of wish the knurling wasn't uh, in the middle of the uh, extension, more towards the back, just because when you have a you know ratchet on it, it's easier to grab like that, but not really a big deal. It has it, works. Um, other features of these Milwaukee cases, I do like a lot is these come out these trays so if you want to organize them in your toolbox in the drawer it's you know it's easy organization that's good um we'll take up obviously a little bit more space than it would if you had the sockets out but like i said it's nice three eights comes out as well like the tray and then if you do keep them in the cases the cases themselves are actually very low profile for being a blow molded case you know, it's a three eights one and then it's not much you know, bigger than the, the quarter inch kit. Um, so that's nice because low molded cases tend to take up way more space than I would prefer. Um, but no, you know, these kits are, are pretty nice, relatively com uh, complete. You know, I was looking to get the gear wrench one that Home Depot sells every year, which has more stuff in it, but for the price, and then I do have three eighths drive sockets, but it's, it's mixed. You know, I think at my house, I have a lot of, I have like probably two or three sets of, uh, shallow metric sockets just from ones i brought home from work or wherever but i didn't have a complete one um and if i had bought the gear wrench one i would be dying, buying a lot of doubles for my house i kind of wanted to avoid that and my ocd definitely likes having the quarter inch three eighths kits the same um like i said i'm debating getting the half inch one maybe one day we'll see um but yeah this one the three one was 99 dollars. i believe it said it was a uh, hundred and eighty originally um, whether that price is accurate or not, I'm not too sure, but I know it definitely isn't 99. And then this one I had bought with a gift card at Ace, and I think I paid $20 after that, so I want to say it was around 70 bucks for it. However, at the time that this one was on sale, I'm not sure if they still are, the metric and standard sizes kit was only like 50 bucks. I kind of wish I had waited just to get that so I could have the standard as well, but I don't use standard too much at home. I do it work now. Um, plus, you know, I do a lot of road calls at work. And I might even bring this, you know, there sometimes just because it's easy to grab this and go and have your basic stuff that you need, um, at least for, you know, road road calls and stuff like that, off-site stuff. Um, other than that, though, just wanted to update you guys. I should have some more content coming pretty soon. I'm just waiting on a new toolbox. Should have that by the end of next week all set up. I'm pretty excited for that. And then I'm going to do some more videos on that and whatnot, but thank you guys for watching.